Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy's backing out and did it again. Uh, somebody sent me a question today, like, hey Joe, what do you think about Java? What do you think about Java? Should I learn it? Should I spend any time on it? Especially now for 2018. Well, it's very simple, guys. This is what I will say. As you guys may know, my expertise are in web development, web programming. Like, that's what I've been doing, you know. So, I can definitely give you, uh, you know, a, a good advice when it comes to that, right? Now, from what I've seen for the past few years is Java is still popular, no matter what. <laughs> Java is one of those languages that, hey, if you're really good and let's say you do something like Android development, like you're set, right? Like if you have the right projects, the high, the the right, um, you know, the right degree, you're going to be fine, all right? Because there's a lot of jobs. Now, when it comes to web development, big data, let's say you want to learn something like Scala, right? You want to jump into something like Scala or you want to jump onto something like Haskell. Like, you know, they're like a little subset of Java. But I would say, man, go for it. You know, I'll be honest. Just go for it. You know, there's times that you think, man, it's going to be hard for you to find a job out there. But, man, Java is one of those things that it just there's so many jobs for it. It's not even funny. Like, you'll find yourself doing software development, you find yourself doing web development, you find yourself creating internal projects for a company. You know, there's a lot of companies that use uh, Java to create software for like uh, inventory. You know, Java is very similar to ASP.NET. It's very corporate. You know, you're going to find in a lot of big companies, always in the back end somewhere. You know, no matter where where you look, there's always somewhere in the back end of a company there's like at least one or two applications made in Java. And somebody needs to maintain that. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you take the route of wanting to learn Android development, then that's totally different. Then, you know, that's a little different ball game, but they're all coming from the same thing, which is Java programming. All right, so you definitely should check it out. I mean, look online. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of good uh, Java courses on on Udemy that you could take a lot of knowledge out of it. And yeah, go ahead, man. You know, I think right now technology, any programming language that you might choose, is going to be a an okay. You know, the only language that I might say, hey, don't try to learn, because it's really like a waste of time by now it's like objective c like i feel like everywhere that i look people are talking about swift and it seems like objective c is like if you want to maintain like old applications then you would do something with objective c but it seems like everybody's doing swift now so yeah but java man <laughs> i'm repeating myself java is good it's legit man if you look online there's so much uh, different type of jobs so many different type of jobs that that is out there just for Java like it, it's not even funny man but like I said it can be a little bit competitive it can definitely be you know a little bit challenging because you got to think about it you're not only competing with like self-taught people you're also competing with people who are having you know the computer science degrees people who have been doing this for a while there's a lot of guys who have been coding java for like 10 15 20 years like they've been doing this for a long time you get what i'm saying like we in 2017 I, i've heard of people doing java in like 1994 or something like you know what i mean like you're gonna have to compete with those guys but at the same time man think about it like this when you're a company and you get the opportunity to hire somebody new. You get a developer who maybe has like a year of experience, but he's very talented. And he could pick up a lot of uh, different tech uh, technologies or different stacks in a company. You know, a company might take the risk to hire him. So that could be you, right? Now, 
it's easier for them to hire you than hire somebody who's 10, 15 years in because that person who's going to come in with 10, 15 years in automatically is going to want like a hundred something thousand dollars while you might just come in and be like, hey man, I want to start off. Start me off with 70. Start me off with 80. You know, so they'd rather do that. They'd rather hire you for that. You get what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, go ahead, man. Learn Java. I mean, I did Java in in college. Uh, I played around with Scala. I actually created a few, um, you know, a few web applications with Scala. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, man. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna be one to tell you. Hey, don't learn Java. Java is definitely one of those languages that if you're good, you're good. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingPhase.com, your boy's back, and I done did it again. We out here taking a little quick drive for you guys. I know a lot of people be mad when I drive and, and record myself, but it's fine, man. I'm good. I live in, in, in a neighborhood where there's barely any cars, any traffic, so I'm good. I'm Gucci. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, if you want to learn web development, you want to learn, uh, you know, the most popular programming languages, the most popular frameworks, stuff that you got going to need in a real job, ex you know, real job experience, then come to my website, codingphase.com. <laughs> Check me out, man. Trust me. Everything that I teach there is like literally uh, practical things. I'm not trying to teach you guys stuff that's going to waste your time. Nah, I'm going to teach you the things that I do at, at work. And yeah. You already know, it's your boy Joe. Back at it again.